Hader Bale's drawing clear. Hader Bale, too good. Good start, good win. Hader Bale by two and a half. Guilty lad. Radley Bale's going to clock up smart time. I'd say the best. Radley Bale has scored by eight. Sergio. Yes, the old Sergio stands up tonight. Sergio scores by five or six to Aston Hill. Charging home as he knows you know. Hader in front. Look at he knows go. They hit the line. Nothing in it. Nothing in it. He knows you know or Hader in it. $250,000 on offer next week in the Macro Meets Golden Easter Egg. Racing Kildy Lads well to the start and first away the outside Monster Jack. Hater Bale got away well. Moving up on the centre is Dynatron. Kildy Lads back on the inside getting a run now. Further back in the race was Lethal Power. Monster Jack was checked. Hater Bale leads down the back two lengths on Kildy Lad. It's flat to pick up this leader. Three lengths away Numero Uno you know, Bale followed by Dynatron. Tonelli Bale well back Monster Jack. Lethal Power around the corner. Hater Bale is the leader. Kildy Lad can't get it. Hater Bale's drawing clear. Hater Bale too good. Good start, good win. Hater Bale by two and a half. Guilty lad. We know there's only a couple of races in him, and if he gets through tonight, it'll be a superb way to go out, irrespective of the result next Saturday night. Number one, high earner. Six, Bogey King. Here he is. One of the leading contenders for the whole series. National Derby winner up at the Gardens earlier this year, and his record is just superb. 12 wins out of 19 starts. Of course, 29... Racing high earner dwelt in first away in the centre was Chewiaki. Hillcrest win got away well. Bogey King's between runners as high earner went to the lead. They were followed by Push the Paint. He knows you know back second last but making good ground. And the tail end of Bravado Dos. Bogey King is last. Down the back they go. High earner is the leader in second place. Push the Paint proven Chevy. He knows you know on the inside. Next was Chewiaki and Bravado Dos. The leader is high earner. Charging home as he knows you know. High earner in front. Look at he knows go! They hit the line! Nothing in it! Nothing in it! He knows you know or high earner! Going down the back you thought well, he's going to get home here for sure but just making this race and I presume it will be his last race next Saturday night it's a wonderful way to go out. Yeah there's no doubt it's his last race and um, I guess the wet conditions might have played up to his run home but couldn't work him all work I guess that wouldn't help either but yeah we're glad to be there. Another run. <laughs> it, well here she is ladies and gentlemen probably the best local hope Number four, more space. Shows great pace from the boxes, is very, very strong. And if she can just get moving early tonight, she'll be right in this. 10 wins already at Wendy Park. Superb record of 23 victories from 46 starts. A huge week it is for Gary Edwards. He's got 30 seconds to wait and see what happens. And the last but not least is Sergio. Of course, crossed the Tasman to be with us. Of course, owned by Lorraine Atchison, the dog was sent to New Zealand and uh, through the Harding Kennel, we ventured back across to do some racing here at Wentworth Park where he's already... Racing, more space began fairly early, blue size crossed and they jammed, I'm Mighty Magic went through to the lead, look at Sergio going up on the outside with great bounds to go to the lead, next to the run Aston El Manuel Bale, they were followed by elite blue size, did I entertain and the tail end of more space, wooden ball in front of it, this is Sergio at its best it's about eight in front, Aston El going after it, next to the run elite blue size, Manuel Bale and I'm Mighty Magic did I entertain, but Sergio, yes Yes, the old Sergio stands up tonight. Sergio scores by five or six to Aston Hill. Now, I listen, I heard you cheering going out of the straight, and I thought, oh, I know what's in front. I didn't care. I just wanted to run first or second. Well, just ob <laughs> obviously, just off box eight, you were confident just the well, way the draw. Gary didn't agree with me, but I said uh, I, did, I, I just wanted a clear box. You know, I just thought a clear box, you know, just so when the lids go up, <laughs> no doubt there's, there's dogs in there that are very good dogs, but, you know, if the one beside you sort of bumps you or cut you off or... So, I, I was happy with the eight. <laughs> That's where I wanted okay, to Okay, Bale set the time standard here last Saturday night, and of course he will be favourite in this event. He's drawn well in box number two. If he can just punch up early, he should be very hard to hold out. Plenty of pace from the outside with Adam Miway and Kelly's hero. It's certainly going to be a great heat. We've had a couple of shocks, which we knew we would do. This is wrapping it up. The last two spots in the 2011 Macro Meets Golden Easter Egg. Set. 
Racing, Radley Bale flew out of the boxes. Adam Lee Way got away well, but Radley Bale's going to lead. Up on the outside is Bogey Bill Tarr. They were followed by Alan Hurts and Kelly Zero. Well back is Shiraz Point. Next to last, Daria Bale and Malta the tail end. Radley Bale is flying down the back. Radley Bale is seven in front. Adam Lee Way is trying hard to stick on. Alan Hurts in third position. Next, Bogey Bill Tarr, Kelly Zero and Shiraz Point. But Radley Bale a mile in front. Adam Lee Way is running a gallon second. But Radley Bale's going to clock up smart time I'd say the best Radley Bale has scored by eight when it comes to fast dogs perhaps he holds that tag of the number one in the country yeah he sure does Ron he, he ran a really quick time on a really wet track at Sandy he ran 29.55 in torrential rain so the conditions didn't worry him and he's going but, super mate. but yeah. he stepped just so well tonight and, and in big races that's what you need to do and he's getting better at it he's getting a lot better you're exactly right there Ron I'm very proud of the dog mate you know he's he gives all he's got which he's, he's just a better dog the other dog and you know, who knows, the box draw does a big difference. You don't need the best dog in the race. I like him because he's got early pace and you never know, you know. So we're just happy and I'm just happy for all the boys, their first dog, and they made an Easter egg, so it's pretty special. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, there is the draw for the 2011 Macro Meets Golden Easter Egg. $250,000 first prize. Yeah.